Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today I'm gonna be recording one more final push before the end of the season because apparently February this year has 29 days. So yeah, you guys get one extra. Enjoy the show and today I'm gonna be playing actually my old school uh, general drunker deck that I used to main... Uh, I used to main recently and yeah, I I'm gonna be just playing some games and hopefully you will enjoy. So, my opponent will start off with some cards that will heavily suggest that he's playing some flying robot stuff and and yeah, there we go. So, by the looks of it, he has played a flying robot at 10 and we by this time had 4, so it, it doesn't look well. I even cannot lash a counter push, but the damage already have been done, so right now he's the one forced to do something about it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna just play cannon, lure everything into that. I'm gonna now lash with a drunker because why not? I'm gonna use some heal tiny to heal my super devil, play some funds to pressure more. I'm gonna play another super devil just to kill this. Flying robot faster, there we go. T-Rex shouldn't be too much of a problem, so I can just suck it. In this matchup, it's way more important to keep a mana advantage than a damage advantage, because if Robulum player wants to tower trade with you, he will probably do so. So yeah, I'm gonna just play Footman, okay. Now I should have been playing General and just waiting with 10 mana, but I wanted to force out some response out of him. So yeah, we're gonna be forced to... Go for a bit of tower trade, I'm gonna heal my general a bit to get one more shot. It's usually worth it for one mana, especially because you don't have a good mana sink anyway. So I'm gonna be playing right now a super devil, getting this kite once again. I probably should have just gone with a general straight away. I would love to get this healed up, but yeah, it's, it's not happening and... By the looks of it, my opponent will get a very good hold against my general and right now I'm in a bit of a pickle because I have to kinda just go for his tower on the opposite side and I will have to go into this flying robot he has just set up, so very well done by him. It's not gonna be very comfy position for me, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come back into that because, yeah, Drunker is just crazy on offense when your opponent doesn't have uh, any good... Uh, any good ground responses, so we're gonna get this uh, back and in the meantime I would love to not get any hit from this balloon and I won't, so that was perfect right now I'm gonna just play Fonz and I'm gonna play another Super Devil just to not die it, it would be perfect, but yeah I think we might have lost this game yeah, he, he played very well I wasn't able to lash the counter push fast enough, so yeah, that, that, that's gonna be a very anticlimactic start since I should have just win these games, but I didn't play this deck in a while, so I will treat this just as a warm-up. Let's hop to the next game. And we're in the second game against... Chi... Bichi... Bichi... I, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to mispronounce it. I probably already did. Let me know in the comments how do you pronounce it. I wonder if it's actually possible. I know it's possible, but like, it would be pretty strange to comment like the phonetic symbols and stuff. Okay, my opponent will be playing a cheese deck, so he's gonna be playing Devils and Devil Horde against... Okay, I, I actually hoped for this to kite, so yeah, that's gonna suck. Uh, He's gonna be playing Devils and Devil Horde and a Brute, so um, the things I expect here is either some Balloon deck or 3 Gunners, so we're gonna see what we will get. I'm gonna go with Heal Tiny to force out some response, and he's gonna go for Bullets, so it still can be either of these directions, it's still not decided yet, so... He's gonna be playing Devils once again, that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna just play Fonz because I don't want to overcommit in case of yeah, in, in case it's three gunners. I would love to hit all of them and I did, okay. That's fine. So against three gunners, obviously 
I like to activate the Viking Tower, but you certainly don't have to, so like it's it's not mandatory. He actually kinda understands this matchup very well, so I have to kinda focus. I'm gonna try to right now go in because he doesn't have a good response against this general. He is pretty he's he has pretty good situation on mana, I presume, but yeah, he won't be having a good response to this general and Thus, he will have to suck this damage. I'm gonna go for a heal time just to piss him off a bit more. Get one hit more that I wasn't supposed to get. And yeah, that's gonna put us in a good damage lead. So, this matchup generally is hard for us to play because he can just bait out, bait out our flying bomb whenever he likes to. And that's why I'm gonna be very cautious about that. So, he's gonna be playing three gunners like I anticipated. And right now the hard part of the matchup comes because I will have to just hold this push and he's gonna probably play some very cheeky devil hordes and yeah that, that's gonna be tough to defend. I'm gonna go for this. I would love the, to preserve this can and I did and right now actually I held it way easier than I thought because I'm gonna just get a flying bomb here and yeah that was very clean defense and Fortunately, my opponent doesn't have enough time to construct another push, so that was a very nicely played game by me. I think my opponent had some opportunities and openings to uh, absolutely grab this game, but yeah, I'm not gonna complain about a very clean win. Okay, so we're gonna get the same op opponent again. I presume he didn't switch decks at all, so we're gonna get the same matchup. Hopefully he gets us a better game this time because, like I've said, it's definitely good matchup for him. Actually, it's very interesting that I see this deck only at the end of the season. I didn't see this deck being played like at all for a long time and right now it just appears out of nowhere, kind of, uh, when I least suspect it. So I'm gonna play extra phones just to kill this good one. He's gonna play bullets, which is kind of surprising for me, but yeah. He's gonna probably ignore this drunker. That's a good decision. I'm gonna right now go for a drunker and I'm gonna hold a flying bomb for his devil horde. Because he's gonna play it at some point. There we go. And right now, this devil horde will get a lot of damage on my general, don't get me wrong. And right now he's gonna get a momentum with three gunners. So that's gonna be the scary part of the matchup. But if we hold, we're gonna be absolutely good to go and we're gonna win the game. So he has to get a counter damage right here. And like I've said, if we hold, we basically win the game. So I'm gonna... Okay. How do I want to do it? I'm gonna actually cycle back quickly. And he's gonna... Okay, I, I won't get a flying bomb on these uh, on these gunners, so I'm gonna go like this, go like that. I'm gonna try to sneak cannon here so I don't get a twins damage on my tower. And I think that's good enough. If he doesn't pressure me anymore, it's gonna be good score. I'm not okay with sacrificing all this damage from a from a phone heart and I think we're just holding so yeah I'm gonna be playing a flying bomb against this mana pump and right now we're our plan will be to play super devil play just heavy troops on the lane where's the one gunner at and on the lane where are two gunners we're gonna be playing uh, lighter troops because yeah we, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, trying to set up a certain uh, defensive sequence. Actually, that kind of sucks, so... Oh, okay, he he sets up another Brute, he kind of... He kind of knows what our weakness is, and right now I will have to be smart about my defense, so I'm gonna play this and that. I'd love to get rid of this gunner, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, and we might be going into the two-tower game, yeah. And he still has advantage because I've just wasted a flying bomb, so that's gonna suck. Unfortunately, my opponent knows how to play this matchup. I'm gonna go for a footman keg, so I assassinate this gunner, or at least harm her in a big way. I'm gonna try to go for phones here, and if my 
You know, if my Viking Tower holds, it's gonna be fine already, so I'm gonna try to just not lose that. And right now we kinda have a momentum because I didn't use a flying bomb for this uh, defense. So I kinda can attack him at any po- okay. I think I missed one gunner, so... Okay, no, I, I didn't miss any gunner, so that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna... Right now... Play like this. I'm gonna use a cannon, and hopefully we get a damage we need, because we're gonna need one more drunker hit. And... Okay, I, I should have blocked this twins hit, so yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna lose this time. I think if I were to block this hit from yeah wait we actually had a lower hp on tower i didn't even realize that we needed one more general hit either way so yeah that was very well played out of my opponent and very rough start to this episode but rest be assured i'm gonna come back let's jump to the next game and we're in the game against kurt so he's gonna actually get a thousand medals this season which i'm pretty happy about because there are many talented players that don't get to like uh, get their own spot on leaderboards and yeah, Kurtz is one of them because he's always playing with his with his uh, uh, planetary mortar deck but this time I believe he's gonna be going for the meta and playing Viking Bridgestone so yeah he has joined the cult I'm not surprised by that because pretty much everyone's playing Viking Birds from he gets a very nice kite and yeah I think he's not gonna be predicting with Blitz so we're gonna get a very nice cleanup and there we go I think we are kinda even right now and like always okay he's not gonna be having Blitz he's gonna be having a Footman card and yeah that's gonna be another case of like a not, not an easy matchup, but I think this one is very winnable, because whereas uh, with my uh, Drunker Lightning deck, it was very hard to win against Viking Bridge Spam, this deck has a cannon, which is kinda a secondary glass cannon, and also has a, um, has a font, so I kinda have uh, small troops to distract with, and that by itself is pretty huge, so let's see what he's gonna add to this push, and if nothing, which is smart play obviously, I'm gonna just uh, try to kill this piercing archer, and by doing so fail miserably, but yeah, I'm gonna just take one hit, oh, none it, oh, even none, that's actually very nice, I'm gonna go for a drunker here, and I think he's out I've outcycled his Viking, so I can just go for a uh, for a general. And right now we're gonna be having a problem if he go. Okay, I was about to say if he goes all out, we're gonna be having a good cleanup. But if he uh, went in, it would have been a very scary push to hold. So I'm gonna just play false, take no damage, and we're gonna play the position from from now on. I'm gonna play drunk against this ghost. Obviously, right now he has a Viking in rotation, so playing general at the bridge is pretty scary. And usually, if you can get away with playing general at the bridge and your opponent doesn't have a Viking in the cycle, it's gonna be a good thing. But yeah, to get a Viking out, out of cycle, you kinda have to play this. You kinda have to play this uh, general at some point because, like, Viking players are getting smarter nowadays, and okay, that's, that's just not perfect, by no means, I would love to get rid of this, and there we go, that was a perfect defense, no stress at all, like you've seen, everything under control, I think I'm gonna just play flying bomb on this piercing archer, because I don't see the reason why not to, he may try to right now overrun me with a troops, which is obviously a correct call, but I'm gonna just try to not lose a tower, and yeah it looks like i'm gonna be successful at that i'm gonna play general here because right now he pretty much can play viking i don't mind it it's 30 seconds left so he's kinda all in on this uh, last push of his so i'm gonna just play can i'm gonna play super devil to bait out his piercing archer and he plays a piercing archer but not in the place i kinda expected to so i'm gonna play a Heal tiny here, I'm gonna activate the ghost here, and I will have a cannon to his twins. 
and that's gonna absolutely end this game which was surprisingly very well played by us and yeah that's why we get a win like i've said this matchup is very difficult because you can literally lose at any point but if played correctly like you've seen here you can absolutely get away with very cheesy win let's go to the next game of the video next game will be against tight Okay, whatever. However you would like to read, I'm gonna uh, interpret it as Titan Ubi. So I'm not gonna get demonetized while my channel is still growing. I'm gonna go for a Footman Keg because, because why not. This T-Rex will be annoying in this matchup because, okay, he's gonna have two actually. So not only he will have T-Rex, he will have an ability to mirror it, but yeah, we got rid of it with a very well-timed heal tiny, so it's gonna be a very early attack for us, which is gonna be promptly stopped with the Skeleton Horde. That's a very common thing on the lower levels of any play. People will play cards like Skeleton Horde that on paper should be getting a tremendous amount of value, but in practice they will get countered by any given spell, so they are not played at the highest level because it's kind of matchup dependent spell for instance against my deck it will it will be decent because footman keg isn't like the perfect hand that you would have loved against a skeleton horde i actually mistimed this heal tiny whatever um you would love to rather have like blitz blitz is a perfect counter to okay perfect counter to a skeleton horde and uh, right now we're gonna actually have to base trade. I didn't expect a base trade that early in this episode, but it looks like uh, we're gonna be having no choice. And he actually gets a upper hand from that, so we're gonna have to like play super devils only responsibly from now on if we don't if we want to preserve this tower. And even with that, I think it would be it will be impossible for us because it's already so low. So. We're gonna have to just focus on getting two towers uh, from now on, and um, this joke was absolutely accidental. I didn't re reference any 9/11 scenarios. I'm gonna try to get a drunker take it out right here, and it actually worked out like a charm. Very nice. I'm gonna split phones. Because why not? I'm gonna play Drunker here and there are chance. Okay, he's gonna be playing another Skeleton Horde. I'm gonna get a Footman Keg rolling and I'm gonna play a another Drunker. So, I mean, another this um, general. Well, what I'm saying. I'm gonna right now try to cycle to the Footman Keg because, like, these many phones kinda looked scary. So, yeah. I think. I think my opponent doesn't have a spell, so... Okay, he has a spell. I was just bullshitting. He has a spell, and that's why we're gonna have to play a general in the pocket. And we're gonna finish the game with the flying bomb of, on our own. And that's gonna be the game against... Uh, I won't say Drunkerloon, but a deck with a balloon. Nice. Let's get jump to the next one. I actually want this video to be longer as well, so you can like see my grinding process and stuff what I think about uh, about every position during the game, so I can just commentate and bring you the best value you can get. So we're gonna start with a Super Devil and Drunker defense against these twins, and he plays Missile instantly, which is to say the least interesting move, but uh, to stretch it even further, dubious move, because he kinda missiles for no reason in single mana. He doesn't even get troop value, because I could have counter pushed with them instantly, and thus I'm gonna take the tower. Don't play missile in single, it will just make you look like an idiot. Unless you have really good reason, you can explain it and it will work out well. To every rule there are exceptions, that's why Missile is still kinda a playable card, but most of the time than not, you're gonna be better off with playing uh, troops on this and not spells, so we're gonna get a very nice 
kite on this bomb skeleton and unfortunately this footman will sneak a hit and right now we're gonna be facing a problematic situation because I really don't want to use this flying bomb but yeah by the looks of it I probably should have I'm gonna kite with general because I'm the fancy gamer and like I have said it's not the best move uh, practically speaking you should be playing a flying bomb on that because I've gotten a very good uh, positive mana trade beforehand so there was no reason to just get even more greedy and counter playing but yeah uh, what I'm trying to say is it could have ended very badly if I wasn't careful but uh, yeah it ended up pretty nicely because my opponent didn't have a good response to punish this very overextended general so yeah we're gonna be still in the game he's gonna be counter pushing with a bomb skeleton nothing to be worried though i'm gonna play the i'm gonna play the cannon and right now he's gonna be playing a missile which i also don't understand for a various reasons for instance uh, he absolutely didn't have to hit a general general is better off to be taken with troops and definitely not spells and just li like previously makes you kind of look like a moron unless you hit general with tower and you're playing uh, missile cycle deck then then it's acceptable but you still have to be in kind of okay spot to do so we're gonna get the same guy again i guess i mean for sure i've met this guy in today's video i'm just not aware of the order okay that's gonna be a brood uh, guy and oh yeah he he's gonna be playing a three gunners right now i remember him and yeah that's gonna be another tough game because like you probably uh, know from uh, okay from my previous game experience just in this video it's not a it's not an easy deck for me to play with, I mean uh, play against, so I'm gonna be probably having a bad time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just leave this be, so yeah. I think, yeah, he, he used bullets, so it's gonna be absolutely fine for me right here. I'm gonna try to right now get away with defense without a, a flying bomb, and I think that's enough. Right now he should be only having three gunners for defense i'm gonna just cycle a general in the back he may split three gunners he may also uh, go for the pump and the third option i didn't see was going for a brute so right now he has uh, back in cycle his troops of choice so i'm gonna just go for a drunker and hope for the best i'm gonna go for actually two gunners this time because i want this tower damage and yeah it may come to bite me right now because right now he has a very scary push and not gonna lie if he supports it well it's gonna be very tricky for me to defend that and it's already showing so i'm gonna receive a lot of damage on both towers and it kind of wasn't worth it to attack but at the same time i had a mana lead so i had to do something so i think the best way to punish it next time will be to just go for a general at the bridge and i think i'm gonna just have to implement that into my gameplay in the future so right now he's gonna go very aggressively at the bridge i'm gonna get absolutely massive value and he still has to react to this drunker he will play bullets which i don't think is the best place i'm gonna just play alone general force out his three gunners and that's gonna be perfect because if this heal tiny connects it means that his uh, three gunners will be just one shot and that's a perfect case scenario. Right now, I will just set up another push because, well, why not? First of all, why not? And second of all, I have just a tremendous advantage right here. So I'm gonna just go here. I'm gonna right now try to cycle to my flying bomb. Okay, I was too late. This general will get one hit. I think it's good enough for now. And right now I'm gonna just play Super Devil, like I've said, I'm gonna try to preserve uh, the Flying Bomb against three Gunners, so I don't have a problem against that later on. I'm gonna play can the same lane, and right now I'm just waiting for his three Gunners to be split. And there we go, we're gonna get every single one of them, 
that's the result we are expecting and right now I'm gonna just go for a super devil in the back because there's no threat inside I'm gonna go for a drunker and basically I'm gonna just set up a new push and yeah he's gonna go for a counter play which is definitely correct call I'm gonna go for uh, fonts here and for a drunker here and right now he has to play fawn horde which I'm gonna ha be having a good response against and that's gonna be win Fortunately, this time we have played this matchup near perfect. So yeah, that's how you that's how you beat this matchup. And yeah, you just have to kind of wait a rotation of your opponent where he has only three gunners to defend. And after that, the game is pretty much downhill because it is you that has a offensive momentum. All right, we are back after a while of sitting in matchmaking against Array Ninety Nine. He will be having 200 mils, so pretty much not active this season, and he's gonna re open up with Bomber, which is not a standard opening, because in this season you usually see either Ghost or Thief as the first play. So, kinda wondering what I'm about to see. Obviously Bomber won't connect after a heal tiny, so I'm gonna just be playing Fonz right here. I expected him to go with this Bomber, but yeah. Uh, chances are he's just playing Splemetary, so the Super Devil in the back isn't the best play, but at the same time I have to in some way get to know what is he playing, and right now he shows me a gunner, so... Uh, there are still chances that this is a Splemetary, but the, there are also the chances that it can be absolutely something else, so we're gonna find out. I'm gonna play a heal tiny on this footman so it's get gets healthy and unfortunately this bug still exists that if a troop gets out of your range while you're hitting it it receives no damage so this general will get a hit whereas if this footman were to hit it it would have been perfect defense well sometimes it just sucks I'm not gonna complain about it though too much I'm gonna get my own madness and I think I'm gonna just go for a general, I don't see a reason why not to end right now, RA is giving me a clear reason why I shouldn't go for a general, well, but without, without that, I wouldn't know that anyway, so, might, might as well get this information right now, I'm absolutely not worried about it because Right now he will not have a uh, viking in cycle, so I might as well just go, but on the opposite side. So we're gonna go for a general and drunker, and he's gonna respond with a phone hut, which is, well, a response, but I don't think the best. Okay, he's getting actually a best cyclone I've ever seen, and he's gonna take no damage from that attack, which, well, like you probably can guess from my uh, voice sound kinda sucks, but I think I'm we're gonna get a perfect defense against his general, so it's not too bad. He's gonna use a blitz, which I don't think is the best move. We're gonna support our general with phones, so we can get something done. I'm gonna actually go for a footman keg as well. I don't think this offense will be too successful because he's just throwing spells like a maniac. Yeah, I don't think this offense will be successful and that's why I'm gonna just retreat and play general in the back. He's absolutely entitled to play a viking in the back, but also he can play a, a general drunker on his own. So I'm gonna just play a very principled defense and right now I'm gonna just try to make something happen. I think going for a double general will be a play i'm gonna just play two generals he's gonna have to get twice as much dps to take them down and one of them obviously will connect for two shots which i think is absolutely sufficient for us right now because we're gonna get a flying bomb we're gonna get a cannon here we're gonna play some drunker and a Footman keg, and right now we're gonna just uh, hold for the life, and that's gonna be enough. Very nice play against a general viking, which is very interesting combo to see. But yeah, 
art deck was more optimized to just cycle generals and that's why we're gonna manage to persevere. Very well played out of array, we're gonna steal his uh, 4 medals though and hop to the next game. And right now we're gonna get a number one player on leaderboards right now who appears to be Russian and he appears to be playing a Viking Bird Spam. It's, it's kind of my speculation that the Viking Bird Spam became a meta because he was standing at the top of the leaderboards for a very long time and thus people started to copy deck from him. And since he was playing Viking Bird Spam well, you get the idea why it is the top deck right now. I'm gonna just go for a Junker here. I probably would have liked to play another response, but well, it doesn't suck that much. If he doesn't pressure me with Ghost in a matter of seconds, it's gonna be absolutely fine for me. I'm gonna right now play Super Devil, cause why not? And right now I actually feel kinda fancy, so I'm gonna be playing General here. And the idea is, he pretty much cannot deal with this phone, so General will break through and deal some damage. So I'm gonna play Cannon here. And unfortunately, he played a very well-timed Thief, so it won't work. This piercing archer won't be on the tower, thankfully. I would uh, hate to spend some more mana for that, so... He defended that pretty well. Like I've said, this matchup can be very tricky, but if you play perfectly, you are gonna win eventually. So right now he doesn't have Viking on in hand, so I'm gonna just abuse that and go for a general and drunker and hopefully we're gonna get something done because well that's pretty much now or never so okay he's gonna be playing eight wins which is very nice counter punch and right now i'm gonna just try to hold for our dear life i'm gonna play with footman keg and we're gonna just try to survive i'm gonna predict the piercing archer and it, okay i predicted the piercing archer but it will still connect so that kind of sucks and right now i will have to just take this tower which with that with that not working of a prediction i don't think it's gonna be a very easy task but either way i'm gonna just play a general and phones at the bridge because like i've said he will have a okay he won't be having a, any hard time dealing with that because he's gonna just be playing that so i'm gonna just try to bridge spam him and hopefully get some decent connections and yeah it it just doesn't happen he's very solid and one on the positive side though we're gonna be losing only only four medals by by losing to him so yeah it's not gonna be too big of a loss unless obviously we got this but yeah we won't very well played out of him, I got pretty overzealous and almost got away with it. I think I would be better off with playing just a flying bomb on these twins and if I... Wait, did I have a flying bomb right here? I think I did not, so yeah. That was a very tough defense for me to do, so... In hindsight, I think I should have just played uh, my phones to the outside, so it just separates Fifth from Twins, and then I would have been able to defend, but yeah. Yeah, a man learns too late, but yeah, I'm gonna just take this experience to the next game. Very well played, GG, I'm gonna go for the next game. And in the next game, we're gonna get a Rolla joint, who also has 1k medals, which... I'm pretty sure isn't enough for a leaderboard spot just now, but it's a kind of good finish, like a symbolic 1k isn't bad because it kind of shows that you have played the game and you kind of achieved some success, so Roll Joint obviously will be playing 2.6 Super Ape from what I see and he's gonna get a perfect defense, also I didn't have Ken on the first hand and I didn't want to overcommit to that, so I had to take some damage. I'm gonna get the footman keg right now. I'm gonna get some falls because he's annoying with ironic steel. He's gonna get even more damage, which is, well, in a way annoying, but at the same time I kinda can accept that. I'm gonna get a can against the super ape, and unfortunately I don't think I can push with this general. I think the game plan against 2.6, which is 
which brings me the most success is gonna be playing generals in the back because in this case your opponent just cannot go for a super ape after super ape over and over again and that's what I'm gonna be aiming for. Okay, he's gonna be trying actually to go for a super ape which is annoying to say the least and actually good play to follow up the thoughts. So I'm gonna just go for the fonts to force out a rolling steel and as soon as uh, he plays a rolling steel I'm gonna get a general on the opposite side and he won't be having any response. So after all the plays were worth it. I wonder if my general gets... okay for one hit it gets mad so I'm gonna get damage here. I actually got very good damage on both sides. I'm gonna go for a flying bomb here and I'm gonna actually get a tower down. Very cool, very cool. It wasn't necessary, but it was cool. And thanks to that, we're gonna be having a very good advantage. That good that my opponent will even resign of the bat. So yeah, that was a very cool game against 2.6 Super Ape. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video after a, I mean, after a break for me, but for you, it's just, it's just gonna be a blink. And we're gonna get a rematch against Russian Viking Bridge Spammer, who I believe isn't happy that he meets us on ladder because obviously we don't grant him a free win. In a perfect world you just go against people who are very similar to, to you and you win every time, so obviously I am not uh, in a, a close... Uh, uh, in, I'm not close uh, to him on ladder, nor I am easy to beat, so I'm gonna be just uh, trying to do my best. And unfortunately, I'm gonna take this twins hit. Like, it's not much a big of a deal. I think I can come up, uh, come back from this, but it kind of uh, like uh, shows my mental state that I'm making mistakes where I shouldn't. I'm gonna go for phones now, because why not? I don't think I am allowed to play general right here, but I would love to. I don't think he will allow me though, so he's gonna waste a ghost, which is fine. It, it is absolutely fine for me, because I'm gonna just go for a general here. And right now he's gonna be playing the viking, right? Yeah, he's gonna be playing viking. My general will get one hit, which I think is, is good enough for now. I'm gonna be playing... This and that. I would love to get this drunker on time, but I won't, so I will have to take this. Viking hits even three. I am absolutely not a fan of the development of this action, so I will have to just catch up with some cheeky all in, some heal tiny, and yeah, I'm gonna get some damage back, but it definitely wasn't worth it. I absolutely messed up this kite, so yeah, that wasn't good and. I don't think even going instantly in will be a good choice, so I'm gonna try to bait out his piercing archer. And I absolutely did, but I I mistimed my general, so it won't matter. Uh. In my head this plan was uh, looking very well, but reality is often disappointing. I'm gonna get rid of a uh, viking though, so that's gonna be one good thing. I'm gonna have to uh, deal with this though, so that's gonna be a less fun thing to do. These twins are just having a free rent on my tower, so that's not gonna be good. Also, my general won't won't finish the tower. He even uses blitz to assure that, like, that, that's that's just not a good stuff. He knows that uh, my cannon is the most important card in my deck, and unfortunately, after this opening. I wasn't able to come back. Yeah, GG is gonna get another 4 out of me. Yeah, I think I will have to change something up in my gameplay because it's just not as good as I expected it to be. And right now we're gonna get Node GG. So Node GG is known in the community as a, a machine gun player and thus we're gonna be having a comfortable matchup against him. One, one rule of uh, thumb when playing against a machine gun is just do not play in general if not necessary and I'm gonna try to stick to this rule for as long as possible because 
Obviously, the scariest card uh, of his deck is still a machine gun because, well, if it connects, it's pretty much game over like with every machine gun decks. The thing is, we're gonna be just having an easier time countering his machine gun than the other deck. So I'm gonna actually get a hit from this archer, which is just not a thing you want to see. He will start uh, spell cycling very early on, which is, well, I'm not, I'm not trying to say expected, but it's not weird at the same time. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw a flying bomb here because I want to get rid of this swordman. And at the same time, I actually had to play something because the mana is just flowing. I'm gonna play Fons here. Get, give him some... Okay, he's playing Flying Bomb. So right now, I'm thinking I'm gonna be playing General in the back. And right now, I'm gonna try to just defend Machine Gun like this with a can and Footman Tank. It won't, will be absolutely enough in my books. Okay, it's not gonna be enough. I lied to you. I'll have to right now play a, a Drunker here and try to get nice offense. So, okay, he, he used a Rolling Steel, so that's a good thing uh, for us because we will be able to get some phones on the offense. And right now we're gonna, I think I'm gonna block these. And we're gonna actually get our damage back. So that was a, ver I won't say very successful uh, expedition, but it was successful in a way that we didn't get absolutely blasted. So yeah, right now I'm gonna just play can at the bridge because that's the way to just clog one one lane and get away with that. Right now I'm gonna be playing general on the opposite side and with drunker because he's he's just not uh, in a good shape to uh, defend that anyway. So we're gonna just get a drunker uh, with a general rolling. We're gonna force a uh, phone hut which is very nice for us and we're gonna be playing another cannon. So. That's gonna be my uh, choice of playstyle in this game. I'm gonna right now play General Drunker because he cannot punish me with the opposite line pressure. I'm gonna play some Flying Bomb because it will get absolutely everything and this General should get one, even two hits, so that was very successful actually. And obviously very hard for him to defend, so my expectation is that he's gonna play some machine gun at some point he will have to because he cannot catch up uh, with damage with just flying bombs I, okay he he's just <laughs> he's just throwing spells for banter at this point it's it was not even aimed at the tower i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna heal everything up and this general will get one hit which is absolutely everything we need and yeah i think that's gonna conclude the game because I'm gonna just play cannon here and I'm gonna play super devil here and I think we just have this game in the back. I'm gonna play drunker actually on in this lane and uh, general on this lane. I'm gonna get a flying bomb in because why not? He's gonna get a flying bomb on my tower as well, but the general will get healed, will get one more hit and yeah, that's gonna be a conclusion of the game and like I've said, this matchup is very good for me, so if I don't mess anything up, I'll be in a good shape. GG, well played. Let's hop to the next game of the video. And the next game will be against Matsal, 7100, 498. I don't know why people are inserting numbers to their nicknames. It's like, it makes them feel like they're robots and obviously they're not. Or are they? At least I hope they are not robots. If I'm being, if I'm playing against robots this entire time and no one uh, has ever told me that, I will be disappointed because, well, I can do better than that. And my opponent will just absolutely disregard my push on his right side tower and uh, <laughs> just blissfully play a uh, phone cake on my tower, which is well blissfully ignorant and in a way also a rude approach to the position because he didn't respect my attack at all and that's why he got punished and lost a tower so we're gonna just play against this brute stack up some troops on our own 
I know he is playing Dark Knight, but it doesn't really matter because we can just play General and Dark Knight isn't uh, doing that well against the push we're gonna trying to build up. So we're gonna play our plan and he's playing even Balloon. Very weird stuff. My opponent absolutely didn't respect my general pushes and that's why he got 3 start. Alright, let's jump to the next game. Okay, and we're gonna get Matsal once again, so... As we know from our friend Matsal, he's gonna be very likely to... Okay... To play very bogus stuff, but I didn't expect this even from him. So I'm gonna just take a trade, which is 4 mana for 9, basically. I kinda had to play Drunker here, but uh, like, Drunker will get a value on his own, so I don't count it. In my calculations also he's gonna waste a blitz for this already dead drunker and that's gonna give me just the free round that i can play phones and he's still going for a phone kick which is well just an ignorant move i don't appreciate that i don't appreciate that at all because he's just ignoring my uh drunker well, uh, general on his viking tower and that's gonna be it, Th that's gonna be the game, I don't think he can come back because I'm just uh, going back once again, still strong with a brand new push and this time I, you bet you ain't stopping me unless you predict my general like a boss, that was actually very cool of him, I don't think, I mean I, he will uh, survive this push but I don't think it uh, changed his position in this game at all, but the prediction was sick. Not gonna lie, that was unnecessary though, so yeah, we're gonna just clean up and go for this fifth not to dash, perfect. I'm gonna right now get a super devil, it's gonna eliminate this T-Rex and I'm gonna get actually general as soon as possible. He, ca he could have a skeleton hold, but I think... It doesn't matter because I'm just getting through and general getting third hit, it already guarantees our spot and yeah, there we go, so 47 minutes into the video, we're exactly where we started, I think let's just push to 4350 medals, shall we? Like I said, it, it's gonna be the longer video either way, so we might as well, let's hop to the next game. And now we're up against low GG, so he's gonna be having 43 medals and a machine gun. So we're gonna just be playing general here, and he's gonna be just banking all of his mana that he ever possessed on breaking through from this first machine gun, which, like, is understandable because many people in this game are bad and will fall for this play, but it's against uh, like good players is general rule of thumb to first get to know their decks and then go all in if you want to really go all in usually even going all in isn't like recommended because well if you fail you're kinda screwed so we're gonna go for another general against it i i think he's just banking uh, his strategy on the fact that eventually i will fall to his pressure and yeah it's just not gonna happen. I'm I'm pretty solid at defending like random spams at the bridge, especially from decks that I am full. I have a full knowledge of what cards they consist. So yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Another machine gun falls down, and from this point forward, the game will be just harder for him because he's down down. So I'll, I'll have a ability to play troops inside of a range of his machine gun. I'm gonna actually play a drunker here and then the general. He actually will be playing cannon, which in my opinion is a better variant of a machine gun uh, for now, but many people will disagree with me, like will obviously play fun hot so they don't die to air and absolutely it's acceptable. I'm gonna try to predict the skeletons. Okay, I, 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 I won't be predicting the skeletons because my opponent just resigned. It just happens sometimes. Okay, let's hop to the next game. And right now we're gonna be playing against Noob, so... There are two cases I... Okay. He's gonna be playing Bomb Girl. Very interesting. I'm gonna absolutely clean that up. Gonna play a Drunker here. 
wonder if he's gonna play actually missile. Okay, he he's not. I absolutely didn't expect a helicopter in Steel Bait. So well, we're gonna be playing against Noob who has some medals, so I expect him to at least uh, know how the game is being played. And at the same time, he's gonna be playing a helicopter a inside of a Steel Bait, so that's gonna be a definitely interesting approach to the game as a whole. And right now we're gonna just disregard everything we've said before and go general at the bridge and get a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe he was low on mana, maybe he didn't have a proper building to defend. Whatever that was, we're gonna get a lot of damage here and unfortunately helicopter will lock to the tower because I didn't expect these phones to just run off like that. Alright. He's gonna kinda catch up on damage here because I banked my defense on the phones, but yeah, it's it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna play general on as well say I'm gonna play general on the other side. And yet here he is on my face, pressuring me instantly as I play something. Well, some players are just like that, and I think that's actually a good thing to have as a steel bait player, like looking for opportunities everywhere they can possibly be and that's why he probably has 164 medals it's like not too much so he probably doesn't have like superior game awareness and ability to act in every situation but as long as he stays aggressive he will throw his opponents off guard and he's gonna obviously take some damage from me because i kinda had a good uh, well constructed push he's gonna play a from keg right here i'm gonna respond with a footman keg and it was very successful of me i'm gonna right now defend the skeleton keg i'm gonna play super devil here and a general on the opposite side and my opponent resigned so yeah that's gonna be very common theme in this video just people resigning because yeah Especially people that like have some medals will at some point realize that game is unwinnable and just leave. So yeah, I respect this decision and I'm gonna just grab four here. Let's go to the next one. And right now we're gonna be playing against Maroom. I'm pretty sure I faced this guy before, but I don't recognize whether he's he playing. He's having a 563 and he's gonna actually predict my can. So I. 100% played against him before because he's just predicting this type of plays against me. Maybe he was predicting gunner or something because in this case it would have worked but cannon will catch it. Absolutely I'm getting plus 2 trade and if I'm getting plus trade there is only one uh, proper thing to do after that. Go in. Okay he's gonna get a pretty juicy prediction against me once again. This general won't do anything at all, so he's gonna get a very good start into this game. I'm even surprised that he was going for these all bolt predictions right off the bat, even not knowing my deck. But yeah, sometimes it happens. I'm gonna get a practically perfect defense against these digger blasters combo, because I'm gonna just get three digger heads and... If I'm getting uh, 2 mana more than my opponent for 3 Diggard hits at my tower, I'm gonna absolutely take it, especially in single mana where I'm not at a risk of losing a tower. So yeah, I'm gonna just bank uh, that this 2 mana advantage of mine will eventually transfer into more than 3 digger hits on my part and okay, he's gonna be going for some weird stuff here we're gonna kill his longsword and i think right now he's just dead because yeah he will have a angry general and other troops on his tower and yeah he's not holding it unfortunately as a digger player you have to be always more of a passive player and not aggressive and since he spent too much mana on the offense he won't be able to hold it, so we're gonna just be playing Super Devil here. I don't think it was the best play, I'm gonna play playing General right now. That was the best play back then. And I'm gonna just follow it up like that, because why not? I'm gonna play some phones here. 
nothing too shabby. I would love to preserve all health on my general if that's possible. It's gonna already go into a halfway mark right there, so it's not gonna get too much value on offense. Well, nothing to be worried. I'm not gonna be forced to take this tower anytime so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play some banter general in the back because why why is it banter general because it's not gonna reach the tower in, on time so it's it was kind of waste of mana for, for nothing he could have gone all in and took my tower um, it would have been very embarrassing if I lost like that but I didn't because I knew I could defend okay let's jump to the next game and right now we're gonna be playing against Russian bridge spammer once again and he's just sending outstanding to me I'm sending him nice play as a good luck maybe he thinks that uh, it's uh, some kind of BM or something I'm absolutely not BMing him I kind of respect his play because usually this matchup uh, is kind of easy for me to win but against him well pretty tough if I were to say myself I'm gonna be playing uh, here so he will have to react to that after that I'm gonna play and I messed up again well that's just not good and okay I think I had a window to go for the general but yeah it's it's not there anymore so I'm gonna just build a push from zero and since he doesn't have a he doesn't have a piercing archer I think it's gonna be just chill for me to play drunker here my super devil should win against these devils. Okay, I shouldn't have played this general. Since my super devil died, I shouldn't have done that. And I think that's gonna cost me another game. I'm gonna get a hit here, but it doesn't really matter. If my opponent plays his hand correctly, he's gonna get a win here. I'm gonna try to hold for as long as possible. This thief should have gone for the other phone, so that was unfortunate for me, and yeah, that's gonna be another good game. L like I've said, I shouldn't have gone with the general, I thought my super devil will stay alive, but it didn't. He even blitzed my super devil just for banter, he didn't need to do that. I'm gonna go for a drunker at the bridge, and he's gonna go for some devils, and I, th I think that's gonna be another good trade for him, I'm gonna go for... The cannon, go for devil, super devil, I mean, and right now, yeah, his ghost is having just a party on my tower, and he's gonna even get a fifth, like, everything is just going downhill, and I cannot even go for a general drunker, because he has viking in rotation, that's like the worst part, unless he does, okay, he does, and I'm not gonna even get my perfect heal, and yeah, that, that's gonna be just a game over. <laughs> Absolutely blasted into the shadow roll. Well, sometimes it just happens like that. He's just having a better game than I do today. What else can I say? Just take the L. He's gonna even... G wow, wow. I mean, he would have uh, gotten this tower no matter what because of the poison, but... Yeah, it's, it's just not doable at this point. I mean, just too... Okay, he's just throwing banter poison. At, at this point, it's not even funny anymore. You didn't, you didn't have to do that. At least respect each other. Well, uh, I'll take a little break. And after that, I'm gonna go for laddering again. Be right back. I mean, you, you, will, you won't see that, but I'm gonna take a break. All right, so I'm back after a short break it definitely was good for me because right now i'm just lo locked and uh, focused on the game i'm gonna get one phone stop here that's that's nice i'm gonna be playing against lord of pain g4 so he's gonna be very likely to play his dark knight deck but yeah he has some of these in his repository so and there comes the bm obviously so I don't pretty have any good play right now, so I'm gonna just wait and then play Drunker and then block his leader because he's very predictable, so yeah. That's gonna be a very nice exchange for me, I would love this uh, T-Rex to not deal 
anything to my position and unfortunately it will get one hit so I could have played a super devil against it but uh, I don't think it's the best play I think the best play is gonna be just going for a super devil because okay stop mate no one's in a hurry he's just forcing a bad responses out of me and I'm not happy about that. He's gonna be playing Phone King, so he will basically sacrifice. Okay, he's not gonna sacrifice the Phone King. He's absolutely protecting it. And yeah, this cannon of mine will be very handy because I've gotten some damage with General. And actually, Cannon didn't only kill Bomb Girl, it also helped out the countering the, the Phone King. So yeah, that, that's perfect for us, obviously. And he's going to play another Bomb Girl, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing Super Devil here. And right now, the plan is simple, just to kill the Bomb Girl and then kill the Dark Knight. And that's going to be pretty simple, if we put it that way. I'm going to right now go for a Heal Tiny, very nicely done. Unfortunately, all of my forces will die, so I'm going to, okay, I'm going to be forced to right now try to defend a bit, even the T-Rex doesn't get a shot, that was a very clutch defense which I didn't think I was able to pull off, but apparently I did. So I'm gonna be playing Cannon, and he's gonna be playing a second Phone King, that's crazy, that's, uh, that's actually insane. I absolutely needed to sacrifice this one, and right now I'm gonna just go for the attack myself, because he doesn't have anything at all. To defend that, he's gonna be playing another Phone King, which is, well, his gimmick, I guess, right now. But my general will get a lot of damage, and I'm absolutely uh, thankful for that. He's gonna go for another Bomb Girl at the bridge, it's just annoying at this point. Well, I think the game is already over right now, because I don't see myself throwing this position anytime soon. Unless I uh, miss these phones, but I didn't. It was fine. He's gonna just uh, go full ca full counter play mode, and I don't think it works because it is just uh, for me to realize that I can just go for a general drunker, and he can stop that. And yeah, that's gonna be a very nice closing to this match, which wasn't too hard, but was uh, definitely tricky because. Especially because he's a uh, mirror phone king, which if it ended up behind a dark knight, I would have been a ver I would have a very bad time. So yeah, that was nice. And yeah, let's hop to the next one. And right now I'm gonna be against SKQID. I don't know how I should pronounce it, but I guess it was a reference to something. Well. In any case, I've missed it, so it doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm getting plus 2 advantage just for 2 digger hits. I'm gonna get plus 1 advantage for only one, uh, 1 blaster shot. I'm gonna take that because I'm right now plus 3 on mana and I have a general on the board. So, technically speaking, I'm playing general for 3 mana and by any means, it is a good trade. I'm gonna right now get even a nicer trade against this skill. I mean, it wasn't a good trade against Skelhor, but I got some damage and I kinda had to do that because if I didn't, well, the things could have been very bad. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just play against another player that will spam a Skeleton Horde. And unfortunately, these games aren't quick, so I will have to just uh, cruise through that eventually. Skeleton Heart isn't, like, like I've said before, Skeleton Heart isn't a strong card, it's just annoying card, especially if you don't have like a good spell against a Footman Keg, definitely isn't a good counter to a, to a, uh, to a Skeleton Heart, so I'm gonna just, uh, right now I'm gonna actually get a full cleanup, except one Skeleton, well that happens sometimes, and I'm not gonna even get one hit because he's just, absolutely committed to clean everything at left, leave nothing behind, so he's like even gonna get a piercing archer lineup, which is just annoying, I'm not, I'm not gonna even say it's bad, it's just annoying. Easy. 
And right now he's gonna be playing another piercing under in the back. I'm gonna even get some damage back with a with my uh, drunker, which he didn't defend at all. Right now I think he's gonna be playing something gimmicky. I don't know if Footman Keg was the best play here, but at the same time I am absolutely capable of cycling back to the another one. There we go, and I'm gonna go for this double uh, general strategy, which I don't think is the best way of handling the position, but at least I will get a break and I will get a lot of damage, because obviously he doesn't have a building, so he will struggle to defend that, and here we have it, a lot of, lot of damage just from this one attack. I'm gonna try to save my Junker. If I wasn't successful on that, it doesn't really matter. It, what matters is just to kill this Dark Knight, and right now I'm just off one general hit, or once again, uh, one general hit or two uh, flying bombs from closing the game. So, okay, this. He's gonna be just annoying till the end, but at the end of the day, the general comes and he doesn't have a perfect defense. I'm gonna just play a footman kick, practice his skeleton horde, and that was perfect. GG, well played. Like I've said, Skeleton Horde isn't strong, it's just annoying, it just takes uh, quite a lot of time to break through that if you don't have a good spell, and yeah, we did it. Let's hop to the next game. And we're gonna be playing uh, once again against this dude with a 3-gunner deck, so yeah. Let's, ra let's brace ourselves and we have some match to win, obviously. Against this deck, I don't want to be doing a first play, so I'm gonna just respond to what he's doing, and he's gonna be playing a fifth. And now he's gonna follow it up with Ghost, so it's very likely that he's gonna be playing Viking Bird Spam. How do I know that? Simple. PTSD from this season, unless he plays Swordman, so that's gonna be a interesting play because I haven't seen a deck that contains both these three cards and it's si simultaneously viable but he's gonna be playing Fawn Hut and that's obviously uh, sending me a clear message that he doesn't have any aggressive intentions uh, anytime soon so I'm gonna just uh, be playing some general in the back and at the same time he actually will have some aggressive intentions but he's not gonna be able to break through because my defense was pretty clear and right now I'm gonna get one hit with general I'm gonna suck these two stone phones because there's no reason to overcommit I was considering okay I'm, I'm gonna actually go for this general let's see what happens he's gonna be playing phone hut he's gonna get a footman rolling I'm gonna actually go very aggressive this time try to get something out of that. I'm getting some hits. Maybe it was good, maybe it was bad. Only time will tell. And right now I'm, I'll have to prepare myself for the defense of the apes because if he gets his damage back, it was not a good expedition for me. But if I hold it, it was fine. And by the looks of it, he's, gonna not, he's not gonna be trying to crack me uh, instantly, so it means that he has some trick up his sleeve, because that's how good players play. Okay, he's gonna be actually playing 3 gunners, so that, that's his gimmick, that's his deck, and right now I'm gonna... Oh, I, I wanted to clip the phone hat as well, but yeah, didn't work out. Well, some phones here. Okay, he's gonna be playing this one, so I'm gonna focus my spell power here i'm gonna actually try to delete this gunner and i lost the drunker that's very bad if i didn't have this uh, this damage advantage already it would have been even worse because well i would be losing by now and obviously losing ain't fun right now i'm gonna just try to right survive it's not gonna happen this time it very hurts, get admitted, but we're gonna actually get a break in a second because we're gonna get here. I would love to get this footman keg that's gonna snipe at least one gunner. Okay, no, well, 
Okay, right now I'm gonna just try to survive because this push looks very scary and surprisingly I'm not even in that bad of a situation because I need only one general hit to go back to the game and yeah, he's gonna be playing uh, three gunners now. I'm gonna play some phones. He's gonna be playing three gunners. I'm gonna try to get a lock and I did. And right now I just have to hold my position or even get a tower with general. No one knows. Okay, so that was a very tricky game, but uh, at the end of the day we got a last blast of this game and that fortunately seals the deal. It got messy, I shouldn't have brought it that close, but well, mistakes happen sometimes and he played it well as well. So yeah, that's gonna be another game, this time against another variant of three gunners and... I was glad I wasn't facing this Devil Horror variation because it's very hard to play if your pawn knows what he's doing. And this guy definitely knows, so yeah. Let's jump to the next game. And our game right now will be against Weedman, who, which can pretty much mean anything. He starts with Ice Tiny, which pretty much... Yeah, suggests me that he's gonna be playing Super Ape 2.6, that's the most frequent option that's paired with Ice Tiny and after playing Drunker I'm gonna go instantly with a General as well. I'm gonna get the Skeletons out of the way and right now a very hard uh, for him to stop push will commence where my General will get actually 3 shots on the tower so that was a pretty nice push out but right now I'm, I will have to figure out the way how to kill this gun. I'm, I will probably just play Super Devil on that there's no need to overcomplicate it, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna actually even allow this explorer to get a shot on my tower. There's no reason to panic just yet. I'm gonna cycle my phones, and after that, I'm gonna cycle a general in the back. And that, right now, I feel like he's gonna push with a super ape sooner or later. Right now, maybe. There we go. So he gets a super ape down, I'm gonna play a cannon against it and it's gonna be a perfect counter to his super ape and after that we're gonna just get a drunker going because the combo of general and drunker is still broken, I'm gonna get absolutely everything with this flying bomb. It doesn't really matter because musketeer on 1 HP deals the same amount of damage as a uh, what am I saying? gunner on uh, full HP and that's gonna be a very good flying bomb either way. I think the thing uh, we want to do right now is play another general in the back and play a can against his super ape uh, explorer combo because he didn't use explorer. So he's gonna be playing with gunner in the back which is understandable, he's pretty scared of me going for uh, another scary attack. I'm gonna play a drunker here Presumably sacrificing it, but for the greater good, because right now we're gonna get a, a two generals, and uh, yeah, only one of them is on madness, but the second one will be pretty much uncontested. Right now, I'm gonna just play phones against the super eight, take one hit, but get a crap ton of mana advantage, and with that being said, we're gonna be able to pull out this maneuver which is a general on the opposite side and yeah I think that just seals the deal because I don't think him coming back to this game ever again. I'm gonna get the skeletons going and that's gonna be two towers down. So yeah, that's gonna be a very instructive way how to beat a 2.6 Super 8 players. And with that we're gonna be only one game away from the goal for today's video. This video takes pretty long uh, right now actually so yeah. I hope this next game will be our last one. And we are in the next game against Dodger Jones, who has 25 medals and, well, will be our probably final victim, unless he plays Viking and he plays it well. So he's playing Viking, probably Bridge Spam if I were to guess, because, okay, he's not playing Viking Bridge Spam, he's playing Viking with Ken, so some homemade deck, it's absolutely acceptable. People are playing homemade decks because, well, First of all, they can. A second of all, uh, not not everyone is here in Boom Arena to just sweat. Some people are just here to have fun, and I absolutely 
agree with that approach. You don't have to you don't have to win every single game, but if you're okay with that, you have to be also okay with losing medals. And I'm gonna take four medals from this 25 by the looks of it, because my opponent Dutch Jones still isn't showing his win condition, which might mean two things. Either one, he's scared of playing win condition and he is playing it smart, he's saving it up for later, or two, he's just uh, not in position of attacking and that's gonna be the a better option for us, obviously. I'm gonna go for a heal time here. <coughs> In case, in case he plays a skeleton fall, okay, he's playing devils. So that's gonna be his defense of choice. Obviously not too shabby. We're gonna pretty much, we're gonna suck it. Hole. There's no reason to defend that. I think right now our opponent wants to just go for a base trade. And I'm gonna absolutely allow it. Okay, he's playing skeleton horde instantly. So like. That's the one thing you have to kind of note about the Skeleton Horde is that these lower rated players are actually very good at playing Skeleton Horde because they know that Skeleton Horde will get uh, spelled out uh, very quickly so they're just going for it as soon as, as confidently as possible because they know just it will get erased if you get them time, so yeah. Next time I will have to build the push that I have mana for a footman keg. And my opponent will be having lightning, so this game... Okay, this, this game is hardly over. Yeah, this game is over, but... Uh, my opponent still will be playing for tricks. I'm gonna just play flying one just to assure the victory. I'm gonna play some phones here. No reason to complicate stuff. I'm gonna right now play a general on the opposite side with a drunker so I can just close the game faster. He's gonna play a skeleton or on the wrong side because it is the left tower that uh, wasn't important and the right one that was a gem for me. So yeah, that's gonna be the last game for today's video. I was planning to push a bit further, but uh, it is already a long video and I think if you actually want to watch it till the end it's gonna have enough instructive of a games pretty embarrassing of me that i didn't beat a uh, russian guy even once because i think actually with this general variant it is very doable he was just on top of his game today and i was making too many unnecessary mistakes either way thanks you for watching till the end Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already and are enjoying my content. I'm posting daily at 6 p.m. the uh, Central European time. And yeah, with uh, that advertisement out of the way, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next season of Boom Arena. Take care.